Hi, I'm Adam and I'm going to show you how to wall mount a TV close to wall for free. So it's literally a couple of millimetres away from the wall and you can do it for free. And it takes about half an hour. So that is our wall mount, which is free for most people because it's just a coat hanger that was straightened out. So you can see that's the end of the coat hanger that has the hook on. So you just chop that off with a pair of pliers and then bend it round into this shape. So then what we do is we take this and attach it to the television. You can see you've got the, um, the four holes on the uh, TV. So we just use the top ones. And screw these in. It's never easy to screw something in when you're on camera. There you go, that's that one. So that one, I must say, this is a really good TV. It's a um, Samsung QLED and it's the 60A series. So the TV itself is only an inch thick. And this mounting is about five millimeters thick. So it really is close to the wall. So that's screwed in and now we're ready to mount it. And then all we do to mount the TV is put in a bolt. And that is a 10, it's a 10 mil bolt um, with a washer. And you want to have a small gap there you go, just a little gap behind the washer and that'll be where you hang your TV. And then what we do is on the TV we get a coat hanger and two washers and two 8mm bolts. I know I said it was free but actually that's if you have those things kicking around. And then you just simply attach them to the TV. Like that. So you can make a hoop and then you hook your TV on like that and then because it's flush to wall your cables and everything will go inside the tracks and that will sit against the wall nice and flat. So there you go, let's see if we can put it back on. And so all you do, hook your TV on the wall and then I'll show you, you just put your cables in the back. And actually it's quite convenient because if you want to plug something into the USB ports, you just pull the TV forward, plug them in and then let it fall back again. Actually hold it like a handle. Sort of roughly guess where the middle is. There you go, that's on. Okay, so the TV's on the hook. Now all we do, it's really easy to put the wiring in because it's mounted at the top. You just pull it forward like a picture frame. Now the reason why I put these big washers on that are that big is so that the wire doesn't fall off the hook or fall off the back of the TV. So it just gives you that extra safety. So now we'll do, connect up our antenna. I tend to go for a wired um, ethernet connection or internet connection because it just just that more reliable. So that's our uh, aerial and ethernet, and now we're going to plug in the power. Okay, so that's the power plugged in. Now, just straighten it like a picture frame. And there you go, all ready to watch the news. So it really is that simple. Two 8mm bolts, two big washers, coat hanger across the top, tighten it down, with 10mm bolts into a concrete wall with a big washer, hook it on. Job done. There you go. Okay, so there, the TV's working. And actually, um, the one last thing I meant to uh, show you is the level of that. Just put a spirit level on top. And you can just adjust it. There you go, that's level. And that's that's the beauty of this mounting system, is it's not fixed with screws, so you can constantly adjust the angle. So, there you go. And you can see, obviously, it is very flat to the wall. About as close as you can get. Right, well, good luck with your installation, and... Uh, yeah, the other thing is obviously we've we mounted this above a radiator that's not being used.
Um, but yeah, just a word of warning, if um, you are mounting TVs over fireplaces and radiators, uh, just be careful of the extra heat. So as an optional extra to the uh, insulation, you can use um, this Velcro. So you've got the double-sided uh, Velcro that you can stick to the wall and to the TV. And that basically you just put in here on the bottom. And you just see it there, that thin white line. And all that does is it gives the TV security so it's not accidentally pushed up and it's not um, moved from side to side. And that completes your installation.